Hey everyone. Um, for a while now, I've been helping people out when they ask um, with um, certain things like they might get an error or something in a game. Um, and every now and then, I get someone who I need them to send me their game files so that I can check the code and have a look and find out what's wrong. Now, in most cases, when I've asked someone to do this, they normally would go to like file, save as, or they go and find where their game is saved, um, take the whole .gmx folder and compress that into a RAR or zip file. Now, today I'm going to show you the GMZ file, which is a built-in thing for GameMaker. And what it does is it compresses your project into one um, .gmz file. Um, you may have seen this if, say, you reported a bug every now and then they require you to send in an example of your game so they can check it. Um, and yeah, so you send in this GMZ file, but you can use it for like sharing games across multiple computers or just as like a better way of saving. Like, I use them to back up my games as I'm making them, just so I've got that file somewhere and it's like a small size. Okay, so to do this, I've um, just set up a empty game, so it's got like three empty rooms, uh, three sprites, three objects of the sprites, uh, a font and a background. So it's just an empty game, it's like nothing going on, there isn't any code or anything in the object, it's just an ex um, as an example. Okay, so to make a GMZ file, it's as simple as going to File and Export Project. And you see down here, it says Compress Game Maker File um, or .gmz. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So just hit save. It does that, and you're done. Okay, so now if I exit that away, our game has been changed. So I'm going to save that just for now. Okay, and then if we have a look, we can find the GMZ file just here. Okay, so then with that, you would op open up Game Maker. So someone might have sent this to. You. So you want to open up Game Maker again, come over to the Import tab, and in this uh, filter you can hit the drop down list, and it's by default .gmz, which is what we want, but say you wanted to import a um, old Game Maker file, so like GMK, GM6, or GM8.1, RGMD, and GB1, and all that for the backup files, uh, you can do it this way as well, but for now we just want the GMZ file. So you're going to click that, and I'm going to browse for the file, just by clicking this button here. And it's on the desktop, so I go there, and scroll down until I find it. And here it is just here, the GMZ file tutorial. So I open that up, you can see it listed there, uh, the name's there, I just hit import. And as you can see, it shows up here with all the objects and everything in it. So it's as simple as that. Um, it's a lot better for when sending games. If um, anyone watching this ever um, needs any help and they need to send me the game, it's best to do it this way. Just makes things easier. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. So I'll just go to the file properties of this so you can get an idea of file size. Remember, this is an empty game, so it'll be pretty small. But as you can see, it's only a meg, which is actually kind of big, but uh, it. Like you can even compress that into an RAR file. Ah, uh, sorry, RAR file if you need needed to. Yeah, um, that's how you do it. Uh, for anyone that didn't already know, hope this helped you out. And yeah, see you guys next time.